Tanai says ED, let's give him a chance. Chamisa, no chance. He's young and has failed before he's even started. I don't think anyone is saying that. I think everybody would like to see Chamisa succeed, including me. Um, I don't know if you've heard that elsewhere, but not here. Could, um, I don't know. I, I, I know. I know myself. Um, trying to add Josephine. Josephine is not answering. Uh, Josephine, you're not answering. I tried to add you. You're not answering. Anyone else would like me to add? Ben Bright, let me try. And add. Uh, ben Bright, you don't have an icon next to your thing. Anyone else would like me to add? Ben, I tried to add you. You're not addable. Uh, Basil, let me try and add you. Please answer if we can. Obed Gutu has quit MDC. I say good riddance. Obed Gutu is a greasy slime ball. Grease ball. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Yes, Basil, how yes. like sir? I'm all right. Thank you, bro. Um, yeah, man. What, you, what do you think? In any, my my problem is not that I don't like Chamisa. I've, I've said it over and over again. I'm, I'm someone who does not really... Who was not really supporting MDC for one reason or another. But I had also said that if Chamisa is to be elected the president, I will support him. Now, what I cannot support is this whole thing of organizing youth is in the background and then pretending, you know, and then pretending that you are actually you're actually pushing them away. You know, it, it, it's just wrong, you know. Chamisa can win an election in a free and fair contest with all those leaders. So I don't understand why he is doing what he's doing. You know, I don't understand it. Is it a culture that we are used to, to just be violent or what? Because Chamisa, if he were to stand there and say, for instance, Doug, you know, Douglas Monzora and the, what's the name, um, Mike Coupe and all that, Coupe. and then he gets into a free and fair contest, he will definitely win that election. So why why is he doing all this what he is doing? Because he's pushing us away. You know, we all support him. But I don't understand why he is allowing, you know, people with the... with. It's like right now, I don't think... Uh, I think ZANU-PF would come around and say, you are a cool government. And indeed, it looks like a coup. You see? I mean, you are a cool opposition leader. We are a cool government, and you are a cool opposition leader. That, 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 that's what he is allowing to happen. Because Zanu PF is going to have justification why they do what they are doing. You know, why can we not have a different mindset as young people and then start chatting a different way forward? You know, the reason why our well, people... Well, like I, like I said, remember, right, we, 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 we have to... We, we, we have to give him an opportunity now because uh, he's only been in charge as an acting president for the last three days. We have to give him an opportunity no, no, but, to but, prove his leadership. But that, that, that's the part I'm saying. Kuti, we in charge of the past three days. Again, that is when the SG move walked out. I think if Chamisa no. also respects uh, his SG and other people around him and other leaders around him, he should have said, right, okay, SG, organize a congress and then we go to that Congress, whoever wins, he shakes hands with him. Even if it's Douglas Monzura, we end up winning. You know, as long as it's a free and fair contest, that's good. This is not a free and fair contest. It, it certainly looks like it's just that cool government to me. You know? All I'm saying is, in as much as I may want to vote Chamisa, but let him do the right thing. Simple. You know? I, so, Bezo, you and me so are simple. on the same page, my brother. I appreciate you coming on the show. It's very simple. Um, thank you for joining us. And I'll let me have more people who would like to talk. Um, Let's bring Benson on. Uh, Benson, I'm trying to add you now. I'm trying to add you in the order you've requested. Uh, after Benson is James, then Batsy, then Edward. Yeah, My brother Benson, how are you? Pretty boy. My brother, I'm going to ask you for the sake of uh, sanity in this conversation. Yeah. To address the issues at hand. <laughs> All right. In it, Nandongo Changaneguti, the existence of um, Chamisa right now as a leader for me was unconstitutional in the first place. Sagagana, Mutamiriwe party, Asnagutere Ramtemo, Asnagutere Constitution, it's already problematic. 
And that problem that we're talking about is the reason why Urkwona Patone, a spirit of disorder, a spirit of rebelism in the party, because he started it. But not only that, Panemuna Taura, I think it was... Is it the same as ED? More, more or less the same with ED, absolutely. And right now, Nezurguita youth is the Ku, the Ku MDC. They're actually playing very well into Zano PF's strong, strong powers. Kutikana youth is the Ku MDC, it's Jita the Ganyabu. Mangwana Gana Zano PF youth is Zagwita the Ganyabu. It will be very difficult for people to justify and say Kuti Zano PF and guys stop the violence because when it's Inga Monoita violence, Kupi Ku MDC. Even though the leaders will pretend like they don't ignore, endorse it, it gives powers to the youths to do what they want. However, what I want right. to do is a question of the issue that we keep avoiding as Zimbabweans to talk about. Chamisa Takamona chenda kwa America just in uh, November or December, but you know, brought my sanctions are simbi square. And I heard Masi saying, right. we cannot talk about how the youth is acting on the street because they are the ones that are suffering from the economic conditions that are in Zimbabwe. And I think I've made it clear right. with my economic conditions are in Zimbabwe because of sanctions that are on Zimbabwe. Mubunzo Wangu right. can have free and fair elections in Zimbabwe when there are sanctions that are pulling down ZANO PF, making ZANO PF look bad, making us not be able to see the true performance of ZANO PF because of sanctions that were put in order for MDs to ascend to power. Can we have free and fair elections under those conditions? And if ZANO PF. I have, I have a simple answer for you. The simple answer is no, you can't. Right. And so when ZANO PF loses, after it feels that the, 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 the tables were turned against it, will you expect that ZANO PF to give power to MDC? Do we expect them to say, yes, MDC has won fairly when they feel that MDC was being supported by USA with sanctions? Well, no, I, I mean, I've always said I don't, I don't see General Chibiengwe handing over the keys to State House now. Right. Sagatweta say manje pagadaro, because that's the issue that I think we should be talking about in Zimbabwe. If we're going to have free and fair elections, we mustn't give Zano PF a reason to say Kutijinu are not fair for them. We mustn't give Zano PF a reason to say, can I might as well support Nema Americans? We will just hold elections as a fuss, but at the end of the day, we won't give you power because Imimu, you are being unfair by using the United States to prop you up to put you into the office. Right. I mean, look, I, your, your points are all valid. Now, I didn't want to get into this debate today about sanctions, but I, I, I would like to say that the day that we do have this debate, I would like you to think about a few things. The, the, the man with the biggest house on board or broke is General Chiwengwa. The, one of the richest men in Zimbabwe is not Strive Masiwa, he's the current president. You see, we can, talk, we can talk sanctions forever, but these sanctions have enriched and emboldened Zanupia far more than anything else in the world. So they can, cry, they can cry as much as they like about being victims. But when you own the TV station, when you own all the radio stations, when you own all the main the newspapers, they own newspapers, when you own two of the mobile networks in the country, I don't think ZANU PF has any leg to cry on. I think they've also equally weighted the election in their own regard. I mean, they can literally send a, me a text message on Telesel and net one to everybody like they do. They, they have got the Herald, they've got the ZBC, they've got all the radio stations, all 27 radio stations are ZANU PF controlled, whether through Zim papers or whether through, uh, through, uh, through, Super's, uh, through Super's little front company. So ZANU PF has got ample opportunities to, to, to counterbalance that. Plus, on top of that, state machinery, soldiers, plus on top of that the police, plus on top of that the secret intelligence. So l l yes, we can go into the sanctions argument and I've always been against things like Zidera. My record is clear. You can follow me from the back of a million years ago. I've been very clear on this whole Zidera thing. I'm very clear that Morgan Trangera and Tanacha Misa now will use that as a political tool that backfired on the people of Zimbabwe. I'm very clear on that stuff. But I'm also very clear that ZANU PF has also been a fucking cancer to our country. Because they've also made, they've made billions of dollars and they've also got a lot, of, a lot of opportunities to weigh themselves against the MDC. So, in a situation where Morgan Trangarai won the election twice, they refused to give him power. I mean, come on, why, why are they still crying about sanctions? They refused, they refused twice. They lost twice, guys. But, but let's also ask this question. Kanavan, why are Kushandi Sama Ima sanctions that are being made by a foreign country upon their own people? What are the chances that those people, irrespective of how they have fooled the public, 
can be good people for the nation? What are the chances that those people are the kind of leaders that are going to serve their own people when they've currently made sure that their own people are suffering for them to get into power? Because, because, because ben, I don't believe that is unreasonable for an opposition party to go and to, to, go to, to go to foreign lands that are propping up the regime. Because remember, we can talk sanctions all we like. All the medicine we drink in Zimbabwe are, is, is aid. All the, I mean, 50% of Zimbabweans are on food aid right now from America. So we can talk all, this is, this, this is a smoke screen. This is a beautiful smoke screen when you look at it. Because I don't think it's unreasonable for an opposition party to go to a foreign land and say, I mean, boys, I mean, I mean, boys, I mean, I it's not an unreasonable thing. I know it's not a good thing, but it's not unreasonable. Do you understand? It's not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable. It was, it's not unreasonable if it was done the way you say it was done. But we all know but that's not how it was done. The issue is that the MDC was an opportunistic force because of the trade union where they belonged to come in and be able to stop the land reform program. Do you have any problem, E? Because of transformation. No, no, of absolutely, I, I, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. No, because, so, so because, of, go, because of the serious white monopoly capital. I, I get that. I, I get go, that there, was, there were people with vested interests. But, but again, what the, I'm not going to. I'm not myopic the, enough to say, Benson. Then, I'm not myopic go, enough to say that. They didn't go for the reasons you're saying. That's what I'm saying. They went for the reasons of serving no, white but then, monopoly capital. Uh, and so when and, they, and, and like I said, you and, you and I you and I have got a date and we must do must do this live and we must talk about this thoroughly thoroughly. But I don't actually believe that it's unreasonable for a party which is supporting MDC uh, white people are supporting MDC, for example. It's not unreasonable for them to try and stop their lands being taken. Uh, you see, we, we act like human enemy. beings after after no no it, no no no. But the thing is we we can go back in millennium and start tracing back whose lands is what. You know, it, this is the whole argument of did the Ndebele Ray doesn't take our women and our cattle? Or did Danguni come down and then take the, they kill the Khoisan? I mean, we can go back time infinitum. Some, uh, the buck has to stop somewhere, my brother. And I think we can continuously go and regressively say, a hundred years ago, my grandfather's lands in Matopos was taken. I swear yeah. to God right now, I don't give a fuck as long as the bundle rate is cheaper and then I can get a good job for my children and give them a good education. With the buck yeah. must stop. And I think we're, we're going slightly off topic. And I would love you and I to talk about this properly. So please, let me go back to the guys who are talking about the issue today. And then we can absolutely get into this properly. But I believe that your, 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 your points are not wrong, my brother. You are very, very, very correct in the things that you say about sanctions, the people who call for the sanctions. But I don't believe that we must hold a higher moral standard for them than we do for the, for the monsters at ZANU-PF. I think everybody needs to be judged equally. So let's one, later. Before I go, one last point before I go. I, in in Rukun, yeah. we must have this discussion, but it is a very central discussion because it will be able to yeah. determine whether to never take it or to never take it. Because I believe, any nation, any national who goes to ask for a foreign power to impose war on their own country, and the question is, can that person lead us into a better? No, but then, but then this is this is counterintuitive to what you're saying, my brother. Zanu PF, Zipra, Zanla went to to Russia. They went to bloody North Korea. They went to China to help to get help in Rhodesia, which was a sovereign nation. So Rhodesia what you're saying is counterintuitive, my brother. People, every, if there's no war, when you don't look for allies, this is counterintuitive, bro. And your arguments are silly and they're very, very redundant. But Rodita I've got so much to say to you, but we can't do it now. Rhodesia was not We shouldn't their do it now. We shouldn't do it now. Rhodesia well, why was it not their country? Because why was it not their country? They vote in Rhodesia. They did not have a stake in the economy they of Rhodesia. They were excluded from Rhodesia. Their taxes were taken from them to prop up only 4% of the population. Now, Zimbabwe, our taxes are taken to help all of us. We are all educated in Zimbabwe. No, they're not. No, they're us. not, my brother. You... They you should come back here and see that the kids go. The kids going to the school behind my house at the bishops. I think there at, 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 um, at, at, at Alfred Bate. There, there, there is no money being taken for us, bro. They're taking the money for themselves. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, we 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 need we need to talk about this another time, Benny. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, uh, it's so easy to get sidetracked with Benson on, on other things, and that's not what we're talking about today. But I would love to have a head-to-head -head debate with Benson and actually make him see some of the fallacies of his own arguments. And I don't think he's coming from a bad place, but I think he's not looking at things from all angles. Has anyone else want me to add them, please, so I can add you guys and we can finish talking about the nyas that we're talking about? 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm adding my brother James right now. James, if you can answer, please. James, there you go. Thank you for answering. If you don't mind my brother, Mugata and Chirunga, not in a man, there, hope of an up and down the garo and animal cousin. Okay, right for the benefit of my Nini, the Gantar and the Chirung. Right, so, so the first thing is uh, just wanting to say that uh, I personally condemn violence in whatever shape, form, or or kind. So what happened yeah. at the burial of our icon there is something that should be condemned um, and condemned unreservedly. And I'm happy that um, the acting president of the MDCT party, Advocate Nelson Chamisa, yep. when he appeared on uh, The Voice of uh, America uh, a few hours ago, he actually did that. So that's one good thing. But in saying that, um, just wanting to say that um, I don't think there's a lot of objectivity in some of the debates that's happening at the moment um, right now as we discuss this issue. Kuda, because for starters, this whole thing is an, it's an internal issue, M M M D C T. Yep. So it is a party yep. issue. And because it is a party issue, it is something that should be resolved along the lines and the provision of the MPCT constitution. And as far as I'm concerned, there is not a lot of people that are well versed with, with what the MDCT constitution actually provides for. And most of the debate that's happening, it's happening without the knowledge of what the MDCT constitution says. Well I, I, well, I can explain for the sake of our listeners, I can explain that the MDC constitution, like most constitutions which are too long, is a badly written document, badly written by bad, bad lawyers, because it has two things that are contradicting to each other. Number one, it says the deputy leader, the deputy president, takes over immediately in the event of death, absconsion of the current president. Correct? That is correct, Koda. That's, that's, that, that's one part. The second part of it is that it also states that the National Council is supreme and can elect whoever it wants to be leader. Those are just, that's two very, very bad things because one does not override the other. So now, the deputy versus vice thing, if you read the letter of the law, is that Tokozani Kube then is the acting president of the MDC by the letter of the law in that section of the Constitution. Correct? Yeah, but no I'm qualifying, I'm qualifying, I promise you. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So to the letter of the law, Tokozani Kupe, that the moment Morgan Trangarai stopped breathing, Tokozani Kupe took over. Because that's what the constitution states. However, the next morning at 11 a.m., the next morning at 11 a.m., the National Council, which is the supreme body in the MDC, then elected unanimously, minus Manzura, obviously, and the other one who walked out, that Nelson Chamisa is the new acting president for a 12-month period. So, what we have is a situation of a bad constitution, a bad constitution that gave us Tokozani Kupe leadership for literally 24 hours, and then Chamisa, rightfully, because the NC is the superior body in the MDC, has now elected Chamisa as the president. So, okay. that argument is not the argument we're having. I, I don't even want to argue on that, because like you said, that's an inter-party argument. What I would like to argue with you, my brother, is a cultural argument, and a state argument. You see, for a crime to be committed, there has to be a victim. And Tokozani yes. Kupe yesterday being stolen and beaten up with umbrellas is no longer a party issue. It's a woman being beaten up by young thugs. That is different. Correct. That is correct. So let us at least jump into that point, Rodi. As a citizenry, we are watching this party, which is going to ask for our votes very soon. And we do yes. not like the fact that we are seeing women. I mean, Wanzura, forget him and Manzuri. I mean, Marume. But to see a woman, a mother, being beaten up by thugs yeah, yeah. to me was distasteful. Eh, 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 and eh, as a eh, citizen, eh, I don't eh, fucking like it. And I'm an I, advocate to everything. See, so now, I, these other I, activists I, go on their timelines right now. They're crying, eh, fuck, fuck, Tokozani Kupe, whatever. Why are they not active? Why not they not being active for Tokozani Kupe being beaten I, by those fucking thugs? That's what, I, that's my point. I that's agree why. with you. I agree with you 100%, my brother. And that's why 
my very first, the very first thing that I stated right at the outset was that I condemn this act of thuggery. But in saying that, you know, we should realize that this thing happened where there was a crowd, and I don't even know how big that crowd was, right? And I think, in my own view, the leadership represented by the acting president, as soon as they were made aware of what was happening, I believe that they made the right call to make sure that that thing was attended to. That's one. And that but, but I, Jimmy, I, I, Jimmy, 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 Mira, 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 Mira. Where the tea party? Where the tea party? Where the tea party? Mira, Mira, where the tea party? Why did he send? Why did he send the same fact that beat up the last time? Chimbo, Chimbo, Mira, I'll, I'll come, I'll, I'll come back, I'll come back to that. And then, why did he and, send the same fact? I'm doing a shaggy. I'm doing a shaggy. I'm doing a shaggy. And why was he sent? And from what, from what I hear. He said that he has he has um, he has instigated an investigation into this incident so that they get to the bottom of what transpired. And although I'm not going to argue with you, Jimmy, because I am not I am not aware of the fact that this shaky guy Jimmy, is the very Jimmy, same Jimmy. guy that's accused of having Jimmy, Jimmy. Go watch the videos. Go watch the, go watch the videos. Go watch the videos. Go watch the. You and I have YouTube. Go watch the videos. What yes. I'm saying to you now, my business, is that if you read if you read his apology, it's identical to Morgan Trangrai's apology when Cooper was assaulted the last time, and uh, the same that, people that, who are who are who, who are who are removed, the same that, people who are removed last time and put on suspension are the yep. same guys who are sitting in the high tent. That's uh, what I'm saying. It's a fact. Uh, These okay, are not. Okay. I'm not being. I'm not. I'm not being. That's, go ahead, that's, go ahead. That, that, that's fine. I just want to. I just want to move on to to something else. And um, it's a lot of just the, the irony of um, some of the things that are happening at the moment is that um, when, uh, when Morgan Shangrai passed on, right, the very first person to cross the border into South Africa to go and be with the family was Tokozani Kupe. But from what I understand, yep. because I'm not on the ground, is that Tokozani Kupe of late has been boycotting MDCT meetings because she wasn't happy with what was happening with the alliance thing and that I don't think she had made contact with Morgan Shankar. I'm, I'm told maybe not in the last sort of six to, to seven months. And then this is the very person that's now at the forefront to say that they're wanting to protect the legacy of Morgan Shankar. Yes. I, I, so, I, so if I, if, I, if, I, if I may, I find that quite absurd. If I may, if I may, me and my sister fight a lot. My oldest, but I got yes. to mean my sister. Yes. I fight with her a lot. Yes. And if, yes. we, if some, there's, there's been a year when we didn't speak because she took the side of my ex-wife at some point, and we didn't speak. If yes. I die, and my sister comes to my grave, I said I want to bury my brother. Yes. And I want to restore. I want to make sure that his children are looked after, and that we, he, his family does not go into disarray. Are you telling me that niggas have the right to stone my sister because me and my sister had problems? No, no, I'm not, I am not justified. Exactly. Am, so let's not justify fuckery with fuckery. I, 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 I am not even justifying Kuti. Therefore, what, what happened to her is, is justified. But I am just trying to I am just trying to point out some of the hypocrisy that that I am also entitled no, to. No, it's, it's, it's not hypocritical. It's, it's, if she knew that he was going to die, she may have behaved differently. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys, Kuti. You don't judge a person by their behavior when someone is alive. I feel what they they have. People took each other for granted. I would love her to be given an opportunity to come amends and say, you know what? I was very upset because he gave away my seat. He didn't know. He didn't consider me in the alliance. He gave Mube all my seats in Matabele land. I, and I, I, I respect the fact that she was feeling aggrieved. I respect the fact that she's been wrestling for the part. She has been holding down Matabele land for MDCT for ages against Mube and against Mutambara and all those niggas against PDP. But then PDP and Mube got more seats in Matabele than she did. So she was genuinely aggrieved with her brother. A nigga who she had been with for 26 years. So me, I don't judge their relationship. I get it. Uh, I, me and my sister fight. Uh, me and my mother sometimes fight. But I'm saying that on the point of death, are we now saying that this woman is not allowed to come to her brother, a nigga who she's been with all her life, who, through all her political life, and then say, you know what, at least in his burial, let's bury him properly and do things properly to our Congress. I just think it's okay for her to do that. I don't judge her for that because I get why she was upset. Tolerance, yep, I, ladies and gentlemen, is the and, key. And, and, anyway. I, and, I, 
and, 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 and I'm not even judging here for that matter. Because, look, there was a lot of people there. There was other opposition party members there. ZANU-PF was, um, was there. The ruling party was represented there. Uh, um, Maim Juru was there. And all other opposition party members. But they didn't suffer the fate that Kupe suffered. What I'm just trying to say to you is that in politics, you know, perception matters. And w when perception comes yep. into play, it plays on the emotions of, of the people. And especially our youths who are so gullible because of what they've gone through, because of what is obtaining on the ground, and uh, because of some of the promises that are being made, made to them. So it's, it's also always important to read where the political winds are going as well. And that's what I, that's, that would be my advice that I'll give to, to Madam Coupe. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you coming on, Brother James. I'm trying to add Sister Josephine. She seems to have a lot to say. I'm trying to add you, Josephine, if you can accept, then I would love to talk to you because you seem to have a lot to say. Uh, oh Josephine, my how are you? Hi, <laughs> Kunasha. I saw in the Vangu Night Dance. When I could join her. Anyway, let me just cut it talk short and sweet. Don't hang it up. I'm gagging to talk. <laughs> go ahead. Just go in straight in. First of all, okay, fine. Madame Kuba, I give her all the respect. She took her time. Like I end up not her body at Tangirai. At the same time, I think Chamisa Arkutora advantage. Because in dear Akayenda could cancel because I represent them on Wese Kujindo Saitika. Sarah Ia as a deputy was appointed by the council. But Mutemo we MDC Unoti, they are supposed to take it further to the extra congress. Could you actually know what you know select who's going to lead? And Madame Kupe is going to lead. But however, Madame Kupe, Pama votes, then posit what do democratic action. One of Anabu Babas of water, people who are supposed to choose their own leader. So, Chamisa will win because I'm not you one Iran. However, Chamisa, Pahakita, Kanataro, and Ed Zungu, Sham Sika Kuti, Avan Waruton did an eye, Kunda Tisha President Inga Inga. So now, Aku of Varidachi, Constitution MDC. How is he going to be a good leader? He are going to override the Constitution MDC already. No, he is not. He is not. He is not overriding the constitution. That's the problem. The constitution has two clauses which can be used. The first no, no, clause no, is that the deputy it takes over. It doesn't have two clauses. Constitution in order to you got the constitution here do MTC. In order to have to coup and the right here leader until they elect another leader. Upon a time Iowa, but on the national council. I say on the national council here you manage. He has got the supreme is the supreme body and it can it can not close it can elect extraordinary congress you know the extraordinary Aye, wa, congress ayi nabasa congress ayi nabasa kupe ano tono kupe aru pi wachi garo chake but chamisa is a good public speaker chamisa ano 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 chora vano ano tsaka kutsana ngula ano ano nakizwa naika na chitaura so now he's taking advantage ya skuda aru kura mbire kuenda ku extra congress kajiza wata ano jika no, because because the, the national council has stated which in the in your country you have to go read your constitution. I'll tell you. No, I'll national council you yaka state because he's the only one who attended. Because my coupe waka yenda kuno tambira body ya tuangirai. Saka i meeting yenge kato gara yaka setu kwa kudara. And he was the only available guy who went there. You don't have to be there. You don't have to be there. He's just being there. You don't have to be there. Huh? You don't have to be there. You don't have to be there to be appointed. I, he, the, the National yeah, Council could even appoint me. As well. Actually, Moshe in a Changirai. Changirai was only supposed I, to have one deputy. You are not supposed to have three no, 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 he was ah. vice. No, no. The other two are vice. The other two are vice. But I one deputy. The one deputy in the coup. Coup, eh? Coup, eh? Coup, deputy, eh? But I'm going to have vice. I'm going to have vice. I'm going to have vice. Those should be able to have a problem. I'm not going to have vice. I'm not going to have vice. I'm not going to have vice. Party organized. And people should go and vote. Iwa. But the panguetika ka overwhelmed. Ne support ya aruku wana kutakune wano. You know from social media everywhere. Munwe sarungo di chamisa. But in all fairness, in his heart, he knows. Kuti Madame Kupe deserve the throne. For this 12 months, 6 months, whatever, 3 weeks, the wajapi wagunzi, until they elect another leader. Kupe is supposed to run the party. Manje. Manje, my kupi waka enda panyanga manje ka? MDC no rambaraz wana ED pa election is nga tombo ED. Aiwa, wano, wano nge wari acting president, alas kupi, MDC haipe president jigaro kungonzi, ose naka, tino vota, 
We vote for our own president. That's why people are not getting. I won't go to Chamisa and Uti and Ruti, yeah, Chamisa, what ones were president? No. To not a vote, I would it to good and English, I take a score. Could a junior debate leader, we used to vote for a junior debate leader. We just don't elect yourself. Could I want to go down? Huh? Same good and sister Josephine. Who do you want? Druguda Chamisa, but for now, my Kupenga, what you were respecting. Gavarade, Gavarade, weeks, Zavo, whatever. Madame Kupenga, what on Bobato would in Jimmy acting president. Then Chamisa, I guess, one ever fair enough or an party. But for now, Sahar quit, I got you second among my members, the MGC manager. What are you skeptical? Don't go from Gotikana, what I go to Kupeva Siri Munu, my Kupeva Toro, and Evan Uripo. What are you saying? Already you are bringing violence, which is what we don't want. We want a democratic world. We want to vote freely. We don't want you to elect yourself. We want to elect you. Sanga Chamisa, after the Gaza Umambo, and the end, did you move in of a man in Muruayo? Did you move in more? No. You know, be humble like Obama. Humble. Humble beginnings. Uno was voted whenever no talk with Isa Pachigaro. Was a two that's a muru. Why president? I want to do the same muru. Such a good vote. I want to change your moyo. Because the E. Diga, Raganguara, Raganyara, Zorapa, and Dora got to my youth is present to your Dora got too bad. I got a mask. You make a noise. MDC or divider. But the truth is, MDC and number divider. The one I'm going to do is that the Madame Coupe, Vangava, could see a party. Ava, Nakumbo, see a party. Vagatanga party. I have a senator Changirai. But people they don't want to see a woman lead. And it's so unfair with him. Of course, Chamisa is a young guy and he knows how to talk and he knows the in things and everything. So he's taking advantage of that. Fair enough. But for now, for now. That's what I feel. And that's what I think. Thank you. Thank I... you very much. You're an MDC member. You gave us your position. Thank you very much, my sister. All have right, a, then. All right, then. Bye. Love. It's, it's, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, I'll, before I take the next call, I need to make you guys understand. Those are the two clauses that I saw, and I, I, I looked this up the whole of last night. The National Council can choose whichever leader they want, number one, and number two, in the event of death, the deputy, prime, the deputy president takes over. Two things. Now, if you look at the American Constitution, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a 50, 60, 100 page document. It's a very simple pager. And I think the problem with this constitution, with the MDC, even ZANU PF, and the country's constitution is that they're badly written. And they, there's too many rules for room for manipulation, which is why we have ED as president, and which is why MDC now has to live with a 12 month presidency of Nelson Chamisa, which I think is the best thing for MDC. I'm adding my brother Absalom, who, and his phone is not approving. Okay, the next person I'm adding is uh, Simon. Now, hey, brother Simon, how are you? Hello, hi, how are you? Right, go straight in. Tell us know what you thought, sir. Uh, hello, did you say? Can you hear me? What, what do you think? Yeah, we can hear you clearly. What do you think? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What, what do you think, my brother? What are your thoughts? Talk to us. What do you think? Uh, the party is in shambles. And if, if that's the way they are going to be uh, leaders of the country, the party is in shambles. If that is the youth, that's the next generation which is going to be leaders. And no one is standing up for the women's rights. It's completely shambles. My missus right now, she's angry against Elizabeth, the way she has been treated. No one in the party has stood up and said, how are you treating a widow like that? Is that the right way? This, this happened 40 years ago. Now, we still have this today. No one is standing up. The same youth must be standing up for women. That's, that's, these are the voters. So, the, the example already is wrong. Yeah. Kupe has talked of a dissident issue. Matabeleland is gone. I come from Matebeleland, and I know how much the dissident issue affects them emotionally. And the leaders of the party... Okay, you know, I, not... I, 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 I watched the videos. I watched the video. I watched the videos for Kupe. I've watched maybe about 20 different videos from different angles. And not once did I hear the word dissident ch chanted or said by anybody. Now, I don't but, know if someone but, went up to her ear and said it, but I think you're responsible... 
Mike Cooper to say those words and how emotive yeah. they are. Because I didn't hear it on any of the videos. And I listened yeah, very I closely to say, did anybody I, chant that? But I didn't see it. I, so is she, was she being... Was that not a divisive thing for her to do as well? To, to start bringing yeah, it up... Is, it, is, it is probably... Now, this is what polit politics is about. It's about perception. Was, uh, uh, Mike Cooper realized that she's, she's losing the national vote. But she's got a very key consistent of the country which she can use the emotional side of it. So the perception which people are shouting, Chamisa, Chamisa, is exactly now she's manipulating a situation. And Chamisa, the leadership of the MDC, is they allow this manipulation now. How are they gonna how are they gonna rebuild Matebele Land without Kupe? She could see she has got, got a powerful voice in Matebele Land. She, and she brings yeah. the women vote as well. So I think the party itself, the party itself coming from Morgan Changrai going up, violence has not started now. It's, it's something which has been like a, a, a parasite. It's, it's now a cancer. Remember the, the, the breaks the breaks we've had before, and no one has stood up against these youth. Who are the youth in the party? Why are they? Why do they think they are so important today to the people who found the party? Why do they think like they can do whatever they want without votes? Shouting? No. Democracy is about perception. What is it about elections? Why do you say I'm nominated? I'm a, I'm anointed. Who anointed you? On a party of Anu. Who, 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 where do you get the gas to say such kind of thing? I'm a nine to it. But who? Changra is not MDC. A leader is, a, is only there to, for, to show ideas of what the, everybody else is doing. It's just a front of a party. Of the brand MDC. is a leader. She don't know what mirrors not do any Vanu. How do you get there? By yeah. votes. By votes. Yeah. You don't get there. Mm. Yeah, I, you know, you know, like anyway, my brother, thank you very much for joining us. I, I, I hear your, 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 your passion, and I hear what you're saying. Uh, let me get, let me let some other come on. You know, when I heard Mike Cooper narrate a story, I, I found it, I found it very sad that a woman was beaten up um, and treated that badly by, by, by her party cadres. And I think it's when she brought in the dissidents issue. I said, "Fuck! If this is true, this is terrible." So me and the missus went and found as many videos on our WhatsApp groups and uh, to listen to, to hear, to see what were people saying when she was, um, when they were, when they were pretty much assaulting and stuff. And why I, I didn't hear it. So I'm just saying on a personal level in the videos, because everyone's videoing and people were saying, I didn't hear it on herself, but she actually said she was, uh, she was called a dissident, which I think is terrible. If that's true, then it's a horrible thing. But if it's not true, then it's a very divisive statement. I think, again, it divides our people along racial and party and, and, and tribal lines, which I think is very, very sad. Um, so, and, and to all, to all those on that, Diana asking what a dissident is, you have to sort of be a bit older and understand that this is the word that was given to all, uh, fighting males between 14 and 30 or something in Matebele land. Um, and when ZANU PF pretty much sent the 5th Brigade, and shot up a bunch of young kids and men because they, they were just called dissidents because they were fighting age uh, in the Gukra Hundi atrocities, which our government still has not dealt with. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've spoken. We, we've had a good chance to speak. I don't know if anybody can add any any other layer to this conversation. I've tried to... Uh, I'm, I'm, trying to be as, I'm trying to be as objective as possible. Uh, I don't want to dismiss people's problems, so I'm going to sum up. Uh, Tokozani Kupe is not wrong for feeling begrudged. She does, she's not wrong for feeling robbed of her opportunity. She was elected by the Congress, uh, and ideally, according to the Constitution, if you read it one way, she should actually be allowed to be the acting president until a situation with the National Council changes their mind. However, the National Council, being the superior body, has actually elected a leader of their choice, um, which is Nelson Chamisa. The public has responded in a very good way to Nelson Chamisa um, as, you, as you as they probably would because of his age he's a good orator and he's probably the strongest candidate that MDC currently can put against uh, a very strong ED government in the next coming election we don't have a lot of time ladies and gentlemen I would love us to be able to sit down and dissect these issues in a year's time when we've managed to get rid of the junta but right now I think we've got work to do and the work to do is this my advice to Nelson Chamisa, if my advice is worth anything, he needs to talk to Kokotokozani Kupe, talk to Obed Gutu, talk to Honorable Manzura, and would like to see them in the next few days together in a press statement 
telling us a way forward, a united way forward, unified way forward as a party. I would like there to be an opportunity for the party faithful to vote for the leader they want. And I think that Nelson Chamisa is going to win unanimously. But that's my own thought. I, I would love to, to see them together as a unit and give us some hope as a population that we're no longer going to be dealing with a fractured MDC. Um, we would like to see the alliance get stronger. We would like to see other players involved. We would like to see people like Maim Juru and the Rainbow Alliance involved. And we would like to see a unified democratic alliance that goes up against the ZANU-PF um, juggernaut that is coming. Uh, and this is the only chance we have of removing a 37-year-old repressive regime. The only chance we have. 38 now, 38 years old. The only chance we have is if Chamisa proves his leadership and gets all, all these people. People, see, because the sign of a good leader is how, how you can get people to go where they don't want to go. How you can get people to, to go into places where even when they're scared. How do you get people to go to areas even if they may die? You know, the Winston Churchills were sending young men to their death sometimes. You know, the, the, the a strong leader like George Bush managed to get people to go to war even though the UN had said no. See, strong leaders managed to get their things done. Hitler managed to get an entire nation to go to war with 10 other nations at the same time. You see, these are strong leaders. So we'd like to see if Chamisa can be that strong leader that our generation has been waiting for. Is he the Joshua to the Moses that Trangirai was? Is he the guy who's going to take us to the promised land? And I think it's regrettable that there was already this assault happening. I think it's a continuation of a very, very bad system, which is a which is a remnant of what Trangirai left behind. I think the three, leaving three deputies and three vices, I think was also a bit of a tragedy. I think succession issues should never allow, be allowed again to get us into the position where we have an ED and a situation like this. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a long, long, long episode. We've spoken a lot. Uh, it's Mugabe's birthday or what we now call Youth Day. So I hope all the youth out there are having fun. And I hope all the youth out there hold everybody to account. And please, remember today, go find all the selfie seekers. Go find them and like their pictures and put those two eyes and say, we see you, we see you, we see you, all these selfie seekers. They're going to be asking for your vote very soon. Hold them to account. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Tea Party. Expect us.